Hey, what's up? This is Martin Cleese, and you're watching PressPassTV.com. Welcome to Press Pass TV. I'm Francesca Iacovangelo. Thanks for joining us. You know, football has Lambeau Field, baseball has Yankee Stadium, and tennis has Wimbledon. But college basketball has this building right behind me, the Palestra, located on the University of Pennsylvania campus in Philadelphia, a mecca for college basketball. Take a tour of this historic building and see where some of the greatest in college basketball have played, coached, and claim they've seen ghosts. This building has its own heartbeat. It's alive. It's, it's it's not, it's stone and mason, but believe me, I tell you, the blood runs through its veins. When it's filled and it's crazy atmosphere, no, it's, it's kind of indescribable. I don't think you could ever uh, pinpoint in words what it's like. I think people have to experience it. There's just, there's just no place where they play that looks like this. And, and there's no place where the, the depth of perception is the way it is here. The Palestra is unique because it's the only empty building in America that you can go into and there's sound. You could, there will be noise. If you went down there right now and it was empty, no one was practicing, you could hear the vibrations. My uh, title here at the Palestra is uh, Palestra Dan, but actually I'm the uh, custodian here at the Palestra. I've been the custodian here for 20 years and uh, I'd like to uh, give you a little background as, as much as well as I know it. It was built in 1926 with its first game here in 1927. The, uh, the Palestra is always introduced also inside the cathedral as the most historic gymnasium in the United States and in that it is because all major college basketball teams, Division I basketball teams, have played here at the Palestra. The building upstairs in the, in the, in the foyer up here was turned into a museum, basically given the history of, uh, of the Big Five and other activities that took place here in the Palestra. The museum part is broken down into wings. What we have here on this end here, this would be the east side. It would be the famous broadcasters who worked here the women's volleyball, the wrestling, the, the other sports that the Palestra is used for besides basketball. This section here is basically dedicated to uh, uh, legend visitors who, uh, who, who, from visiting teams who visited the Palestra, played, uh, played either one of the big five teams here. And uh, these are like all legends of uh, college basketball in the coaching ranks. Every major Division I college basketball team has played a game at the Palestra. It's, it's, the, it's, it's, the, it's the most visited. On the front, the front lobby, as you come in the main lobby, you'll see each partition is dedicated to each member of the Big Five. Uh, Temple's up there, St. Joe's up there, LaSalle's up there, and Villanova's up there. The Big Five is, is, is the, in its day, it was the heart and soul of, uh, of sports here in Philadelphia. You, you grew up, when you were five or six year old, years old, you adopted a team. Mm -hmm. uh, my team was always St. Joe's, being uh, from West Philly, and, and I was sort of like Penn. Penn was always the outside school. Uh, the first basket that was that was scored, they would uh, throw these streamers out, and uh, they would throw these streamers out. And uh, the the officials, uh, I think the officials are the ones. They ruin officials ruin a lot of things, but they ruin that tradition too. I think they didn't like to call a timeout to clean up the court afterwards. But we did it for the 50th anniversary last year, the Big Five. This would be the south the south side corridor, and what this is, this whole corridor is dedicated to uh, Penn basketball through the years. These are the folks who I think now are spiriting uh, the plus for this day. There's our ghost. I mean, there's no doubt. There's no doubt in my mind this place is spirited. There's no doubt in my mind. I mean, I'm here in the morning at five o'clock by myself. I can hear them out there playing. I can believe my thing. You may think I'm nuts, but you ask a few folks. This place is definitely spirited. I think it's haunted. Absolutely, I believe that the ghosts are in that building. This place is wild. I'm looking for the ghost right now. In a nice way. I don't mean like. Polar Geist ghost. I mean, my spirit of people's souls never really left the place. I don't think that it's haunted, no. I know Dan Harrell thinks it's haunted, but I do not. This is the downstairs level of the Palestra, and uh, according to who's playing or who's giving the information, uh, basically the, the state of the South Pole holds 8,700 fans. And uh, the, the, uh, the great thing about it is it's 8,700 great seats. There's not a bad seat in the place. There's no obstructed views. Uh, and you're close to the action. It's, it's, one of, it's one of the great things about the design of the building. It's designed just for basketball. Well, my favorite moments were when I was younger, you know, coming in, you know, just through different spots where you wouldn't normally come in with a ticket where you would, uh, you know, sneak in. It was a big thing. The big thing was sneaking in. You had to sneak in. Like, that was like the goal, you know what I mean? Like, you would have a guy at the door that you knew 
we were kids because we couldn't get a ticket. My best memory at the Plaster was sneaking in to a St. Joe Penn game. It had to be 30 years ago, but I snuck it. I didn't have to pay. Another thing about Big Five basketball, I don't remember anybody buying a ticket to a game. We all seem to sneak uh, some, find some way in without a ticket. We used to walk up these steps behind the palestra, sneak in the side door. It was like the greatest. And then, like, you just find, you, you just, they did have assigned seats, but it was like, it was like sitting on a bench. So you just stuck yourself in there, you know what I'm saying? It's known as the Cathedral of College Basketball because the Palestra has hosted more games, more visiting teams, and more NCAA tournaments than any other facility. But the battles on the court only tell half the story about what makes this place so special. Talk to anybody who grew up in the Philadelphia area watching basketball, and they'll have a story or a favorite memory to share about this historical building. In 1956, when I came here to the Palestra the first time, I was originally from New York, but I had just moved to Philadelphia. And I had met this woman, and I asked her out on a date. And our first date was here at the Palestra. The first time I had brought my children, I had been telling them about it for so long, and they couldn't believe it when they came in. The noise, the excitement, and just finding a seat. They were used to a typical seat to go in, not a bench and it really was amazing and just wonderful to pass on. It's a place that, that many people's memories go back to and, and uh, they can recount countless opportunities with great players, great fans. It's a special, special place. And certainly people are right on top of you. They know everything you think. They know what kind of gum you chew if you chew gum. And it is, a, it is just the best college basketball building in America. There's so many memories that uh, we're blessed that it's still here, that she's still here. Whether a fan of college basketball or just a sports history buff, a trip to the Palestra is a must. We hope you enjoyed that story from Press Pass TV, and to see more like it, go to our website at www.presspass.tv. For everyone here at Press Pass TV, I'm Francesca Iacovangelo in Philadelphia saying thanks for watching.